It's me. See what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmoni was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back the back up computer miles should be able to read whatever data down. is on that stolen drive. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have Nearly to... fell off a building for this? Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half-prison, half-mental hospital to 15 this year. Only three have been caught to date, but all the escapees highlight the plot. Some would say inhumane conditions at the Age Asylum. The latest, 44 year old twin brother and sister, Leon and Valerie, will know. Let's find out what was so important. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. Could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left. 
including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs, but I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the Codex. Found her. to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I don't like being compared to a common criminal. No, I think you're missing the point. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself, and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. You think he's looking for a handout? He would have come to the right person. No, oh, because I'm... Because you're generous. A little too much sometimes, with your wealth, your time, and even your well-being. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. <laughs> <laughs> 